Welcome back painting friends. Today we are gonna paint a fairy village. So you're gonna need just about every color you have. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white, brown, and black. See, just about every color. You're gonna need a cup of water to keep your brushes clean as well as a rag to keep them dry. My favorite three brushes are my one inch flat brush and then my 10, four, and one round brush. So let's get started. My background, I'm going to make it be nighttime in my fairy village. So I am going to have a big old moon over here with some blues going into purples. So for my big old moon, I'm going to use mostly white with a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to try to keep that yellow on the outside edge of the moon. Now, I know it's not a super round shape, but keep working with it. Keep spinning it. Feel free to blend those colors really nice and neat. The goal is to have the yellow mostly on the outside, but bringing it in just a little bit. Wipe my brush off, wash my brush off. The next layer is gonna be blue. So I'm gonna put a layer of blue around and then we're gonna blend it into some purples. Now I don't really have to do this area right here because I am gonna put a little stump on it. So just kind of the space around here, we're gonna go from yellow to blue to purple and blend them nicely. I've wiped my brush off and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna drop spots of white going just radially around my moon. I mean, just going in a circle around it. And then I'm gonna brush those colors in just to add a little bit of lightness to my background. And if you love the way that's looking, feel free to add some more. I do love the way that's looking, so I am gonna drop a couple more spots of white in there and really pull those colors in together. Okay, I do love where that is. So what I'm gonna do now is take my brush and I'm gonna wipe it off. I don't have to wash it off because the next two colors I'm going to use are also just a little bit muted. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a little tree stump in here that our fairy village is going to be on. So I've got the same brush and I'm going to use some brown paint and white paint together. And I'm just going to make a rectangle shape, but I'm going to make the top just a little bit longer and kind of swoop it in. From there, I'm gonna take that brush and wipe it off, but I don't have to wash it off. Again, I don't mind these colors mixing. I've got some green on my brush and I'm just gonna make a small little area down here. When this green and this purple mix together, you're gonna to notice that there's gonna be a really nice dark green that happens. So that bright green at the top and then once it mixes a little bit more at the base, you get a really great dark green color. And I can even pull some of that green up in front of my stump. All right, perfect. So my base is finished. I'm going to wipe my brush off, wash it off, and let this dry. When we come back, we're going to lay out some of our little fairy spaces. With a dry background, I'm ready to put in my um, second layer of stuff, which is going to be kind of like the base layer for the greens. Um, so I've got my number 10 round brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a moss patch up here on the top of this log. So what that's going to be is just kind of a wavy line that just kind of drips down and maybe goes up a little bit on my log. So just a big blob of green, right? 
I'm gonna brush that color in. I'm even gonna add some yellow and just kind of spot it on just to give it a little bit of an interesting texture, a little bit closer to that moon to show where that moonlight is kind of pouring on it. This exact same thing, I'm gonna do it down here. So I'm gonna take my yellow, just kind of tap it along that edge, really just to brighten that edge up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of this green and I'm gonna make a little shelf mushroom here. So right here towards the middle of this, I'm just gonna add a small little line, just kind of bring it down into a small triangle. I'm gonna put a house or something on that. All right, I can wipe my brush off, wash my brush off. Now, since we are putting a fairy village, we're gonna put some of it up here and some of it down here. I do wanna have a little bit of a stream. So I'm going to take blue and white on that same brush and I'm gonna make a little waterfall that just kind of comes right off the top of my log and comes on down. And it's just gonna make a small little stream. But maybe I'll make it a little pond right here. That'd be cute, huh? Just a little bit of blue and a little bit of white small little fairy pond. Now, where's that water coming from? I have no idea. Let's pull this water up. We'll just kind of make it come back off that way and just kind of disappear into our greenery. Oh, I'm loving that so far. Wash my brush off, dry it off. I think I'm gonna put over here a little fairy sitting down by the water. Um, I'm gonna have her sitting on a little mushroom. So maybe I'll put that in next. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush, my number four round brush, and I'm going to take some brown and some yellow paint. I'm gonna make myself a little mushroom. So it's gonna have a wavy base to it with a bump and then kind of a fatter bottom and you know, mushrooms generally they grow in groups so i'm probably going to make a couple more but i think i'm going to darken this one up a little bit since it is nighttime it's a little bit of black on my brush make it look more like a shadow than the full mushroom color a little bit of black on there just kind of darkens it up a little bit. Yeah, I do love that. So I'm going to add a couple more little mushrooms, then I'll put my fairy on top. Same mushroom shapes, um, maybe just a couple different sizes. All right, I'll come back to this area in a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom us into this area right here so we can put some of our houses in and then we'll look up here at the top. So right down here at the base of my tree, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little doorway in. So I'm gonna make that doorway a light brown color. So I've got brown and white on my brush and I'm just gonna make a little curved door and paint that in with that light brown color. 
I can even add a little bit of green to this to have it look a little mossy. So, I mean, it is in the side of a tree, right? If you get too much green, just add a little bit more brown or some more white to it. Then I'm gonna add a small circular window. So I've still got my number four round brush, a little small circular window. And then with some black on that brush, I can make the little crossbars on it. And I'm barely touching my canvas. Like, I mean, almost not touching at all. Then of course I have to do the handle, which I'm gonna do in red, and it's just gonna be a little dot. Now, when I think of fairy houses, I think of, you know, cute little patios and fun little ivies and vines crawling around. So if that's what you see, you can always go in and add maybe a viney little archway. So what I did is I have my number four round brush and some watered down green paint. And I'm just kind of making some squiggly lines that go around the door. And then I'm gonna use the back of my brush with some white paint to just drop little flowers on it. And then right up here on this little walkway, I'm gonna put another door. This one's gonna be um, more of a light orange color. So I've got some orange and some white on my brush. And I'm gonna make this door, ooh, I'm gonna make this door a circleist door. So a little bit more of a circle shape to it. And I'm gonna keep with that circle shape as I kind of fill it in. I will, of course, add that little window. Again, I'm gonna stick with that circle shape. So white paint on my number four brush to make my little circle window. And then some watered down black paint to make my two little crossbar lines. This one I'm gonna give a black handle to. It's just a little bit on the back of my brush, a little black handle. I'm also gonna outline this one with a black line. And then I think I'm gonna put a window next to it and I'll put a little window box of flowers. It seems a little bit too bright white for what I'm going for, so I'm gonna grab some brown and add it to it. Ooh, maybe a little bit of blue also to make it look like the, the glass from the window. So I added my black, now I'm gonna add some blue I like that little light brownly muted blue. So we're gonna outline that in black, we're gonna give it the black crossbars, and then we will add in our window box. So our little window box, I am going to make it a light purple color. So I've got purple and white on my brush. And I'm just going to make a straight line that goes across. And then I use the back of my brush to add some flowers to it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow to my grass here because I really want it to show up and I realized that when I did the other ones I didn't quite get this one as bright as I wanted it to go. So just a little bit of yellow in there and then ooh, maybe even some brown stepping stones outside that front door. Not really sure where they're going to, but they're fairies, they can fly, right? All right, while we're in here and zoomed in, let's go ahead and add our fairy in. Now I'm gonna make our fairy, um, a silhouette so it's going to be an all black fairy with some wings that you can see through 
So with my number four round brush, she's gonna be sitting right here on this toadstool. I'm gonna to make a line. This is gonna be her skirt. So her skirt is gonna kind of come up like this because she's gonna have her knee up. So from there, I'm gonna make her knee coming out and down onto the, the toadstool. From there, I'm gonna make her shirt I'll make her arm kind of just sitting on her knee. And then her hair. Now let's add some wings on her. I'm going to make her wings a very light purple color. So I've got some white and some purple. And I am just going to put some big old wings right here. Fill that in with that light purple color. Maybe even a touch of blue in there. And then the other one is going to be just kind of behind it. So it's really hard to see where it starts from, but just kind of right next to it. And then again, fill that in with that light purple with a touch of blue. All right, let's zoom out and let's look at the rest of the picture. All right, so we are zoomed out. Let's work on the rest of our painting. First of all, I'm gonna add some stuff to this guy. I feel like there's not a whole lot going on, and if you have a fairy village, you should have some sort of magic going on in the sky. So I'm gonna start out by um, adding in some stars, but I'm gonna keep them pretty far apart because I'm gonna add some swirls around them. All right, so I got my swirly stars on there. Or I got my stars on there, now I'm gonna add my swirls with some watered down white paint and my number four brown brush, I am gonna go in and just add a couple of little swirled lines around each star, very barely touching my canvas. Yeah, I love it. I'm also gonna add some of those lines around my, my moon, just a couple of little white lines. All right, so at the top of my hill up here, I guess that's not a hill, at the top of my tree stump, I'm gonna add a couple of different buildings and you can really have fun with these buildings, um, make them your own. I'm probably gonna add one back here and one up here. And these buildings are going to be funky shaped because, well, they are fairy houses. So I've got my number four round brush. I am going to make my first building a light purple. So I'm actually going to start with white paint. And this building is going to have a two walls on the side and then like a rounded front. Okay, so two walls on the side and a rounded front. And a rounded top because this is going to be what's going to look almost like a circular building. So I'm going to paint that in white and then I'm going to grab just a smidge of purple and I'm going to kind of brush this on following that top line. And then I'm going to make the top just a little bit darker. So keeping white on my brush but adding some purple in, I'm going to take this top and I'm going to kind of swoop it up almost like the top of a Hershey's Kiss. And it's going to just tilt around the outside edge of this house. Okay. 
and I'm going to use my paintbrush as a stamping tool and I'm just going to stamp a texture on this roof. So I've got mostly purple with just a little bit of white on my brush and I'm just kind of stamping so it almost looks like a thatched roof. I'm going to add on here a light blue door. And a couple of circular windows. And maybe a few grayish colored rocks just outside the house. All I'm doing is have a little bit of um, black and a little bit of white on my brush and I'm just kind of tapping them on. I didn't even wash my color off. Just wanted to show that there's some landscaping outside. I'll go in with a watered down black paint and add my cross lines to my windows. My little doorknob on my front door. And then we'll move on to our next house. My next house is going to be red. And so it's gonna be right back here. I'm gonna make this one a bubble house. So a couple different circles sitting on top of each other. Add a little bit of white to this edge right here. It actually kind of looks like a red snowman, so we're going to have to definitely edit this guy to make him look more house ish. On the top, I will add on a white roof. Same kind of little teepeed roof right there. Didn't wash my brush off, so it's going to be a nice pink color. And then I'm gonna make my door on this house yellow. And the windows are gonna be circles of white. My back, black little cross lines. I'm actually even gonna add a little chimney to the top of this one. I did it in black, but I'm gonna go in and add some white because I definitely think it needs to be lighter to show up outside. And then I'll just take some white paint and little dots kind of coming out of the chimney. I'm gonna put a couple little small trees on here. So for these, I'm just gonna make some tall Y shape. So I'm not even going to do a whole, in fact, I'm going to zoom you in for this. Hang on. I'm just going to make a couple and they're just going to be small little Y shapes. White blossoms on them. And then I'm going to go in with just a little bit of green and add some green. So maybe it's kind of getting to be springtime. These are new leaves on our tree. It's a little bit of white, a little bit of green. I'm going to put a pathway from my houses to my water. So I've got a little bit of green, not green, I've got a little bit of brown and a little bit of white on my brush. I'm just going to kind of ziggy zaggy some little walkways to the water. Oh, ooh, I should put a bridge there so these two houses can be connected. So right here, I didn't even think about it, but I put those two really close together. So I'm actually just gonna make an arched bridge and now they can get to each other's houses. How sweet is that?
Let's zoom out and see what else we need to add to our painting. After looking at this for a minute, I realize I've got this whole space right here that doesn't have a whole lot in it. So I think I'm gonna build a house right here at the base of the tree. So I'm going to make a bluish green, so like a teal color. So I've got three colors on here. I've got blue, green, and teal right here. And I am going to kind of bring my house up. It's almost gonna look like grass, isn't it? That's fun. So a curved line. And I'm probably not gonna see the other side of my house, so I could just kind of take it off to the side and go ahead and fill this in with that greenish blue color. And the top, I'm gonna make it a rounded, so a little smiley face here. I really think I'm getting into these uh, Hershey's Kiss shapes today. But this one I'm almost thinking about some of the architecture from Russia. And so if I take some of these orange lines and kind of curve them around. And then maybe with a small orange dot at the top, I could just use my finger for my orange dot. And then I'm going to add my shape of my door with some yellow and some white and I'm going to make it oh I like that it's blending into that line that green color so just kind of curve it up to the top My window is going to be the same. I'm going to make this window a circle also. The normal C that we have. Just draw their two little lines across. I'm going to grab some white for a window on this door. Oh, looks like I had some red mixed in. That's okay, though. I'll grab a little bit of clean white and put it on top of that. With my little cross lines for my window. And then a dot for my door handle. Oh, I'm going to make the dot orange to match the dot on the top of the building. I feel like this is taking up a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go in and add some white to it just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this one a little bit better now. I'm also going to add some white to the edge just to kind of give it a little bit more texture. So I'm just going to take some of this white and just kind of pull it across and let it kind of fade out towards the middle. And I think the last thing I'm going to do, just because I think what's bothering me is how brown this is, is I'm just going to put some vines on it. I'm going to grab some green and some yellow, and I'm going to run some vines up from the base to the top and throw a couple of leaves on them. I think that's what I'm missing is just filling out this tree stump space with something that's a little bit more interesting. So then each of my little leaves on here are just going to be small little 
So watch this, it's just a smiley face and a frowny face and paint it in. I've got some yellow on my brush, I've got some green on my brush, and just gonna pull those colors on up. Okay, I think I have it where I love it now. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna tell you to do, is pick a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas. I always sign my name in the bottom right corner of my paintings. Um, so pick a spot that you like to sign yours in, sign your name. Don't forget, I never get to see what you're doing at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose. So remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting With A Purpose. Send your artwork to me on our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose, and remember, as always, Stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.